So let's take the time to talk about practical welding applications. Oftentimes when you're doing fabrication, you're gonna find that you're making things that are boxes or geometries where you need a lot of alignment. And the interesting part is when you start to weld two pieces of metal together, the gap or tolerancing in your weld is going to matter. And that's relative to the wire feed that's coming out of your welder as well as the voltage that you're using for your welder. So you'll find if you have a larger gap, it may be a good idea to turn down your voltage when you're welding or increase your wire speed so that you're filling with more material. And so we've got a couple of different edge seams here. This one is extremely tight and good tolerancing, so I think it's low likelihood that we burn out. But this one has a larger gap and a little looser tolerancing, so we're going to have to be a little more careful welding these two edges. So we're going to set that up starting with the ideal case. With the standard settings that we have, we found that uh, 5 volts and 65 was a good wire speed for this welder and the rate at which I'm feeding my welder right now. And so I will switch to another speed if that seems inappropriate, but we will test this now. So we're going to put the welding screen on and make sure that this weld is centered so that everyone can see it like so. Welding screen on. And welding. Oh, got to turn the machine on. Helps to turn the machine on. Okay, welding. So you can see here we're looking at a pretty good seam weld. Okay. The only concern is right here at the very edge. We got a little bit of a dip, but not too bad. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch to our slightly larger gap. And we're gonna do everything about the same, except that I'm gonna be approaching from the gap side towards the closed side, right? So from here all the way over to here, put the welding screen back on. And welding. So the difference here with the weld is I had to move a little faster and you'll notice that there is a pinhole gap here as well as here which means I'm going to have to come back in with the welder and do small pulse welds to fill those gaps. So we'll put the screen back on. Welding. Welding. And so now what we have, let's see if we can get this thing to go to the right brightness here. What we have is a fully closed weld, and then there's a little artifact of the MIG wire overshooting that weld. That just breaks right off. But it's relatively clean. And you can compare that with the tighter tolerance weld, which is much more uniform in the bead shape. Okay, This one's a little lumpier. We've kind of burned through the edge on the back side. And it's generally just more work. Maybe five to ten minutes of work with a belt sander getting it to a nice clean profile. Um, but that's only if you're really worried about it. So we've got one last seam weld that we can do. The settings seem ideal. We're gonna try and do it in a single pass. And again, we're gonna start from the corner and go to the outer edge. That in the field of view. And then once again, screen on.
and welding. So here we are with our third weld. 